Hey guys! And welcome back to Mamsi TV! Sa video ito ay pag-uusapan at pag-aaralan natin ang solving real life word problem involving greatest common factor or GCF and least common multiple or LCM para sa Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 3. Let's start! Let's try to answer this question. How can you solve a real-life word problem involving GCF and LCM? So, let's think about it. Para masolve natin ang real-life word problems involving GCF and LCM, sundin lamang po natin ang four-step plan which we have number one is understand. Dito, you are going to identify what is asked in the problem. So, it is the question or questions that need to answer. Then B, what facts are given? So, these are the data given to solve the problem. Two is plan. How will you solve the problem? So, you are going to decide whether it is either finding GCF or LCM. Ngayon, paano mo malalaman kung ang insusolve mong word problem ang hinahanap ay GCF or LCM? Gagamit tayo ng mga keywords. Para malaman natin kung ang isosolve mo ba ay GCF or Greatest Common Factor, narito ang mga keywords. Kapag may mababasa ka sa word problem na Greatest, Largest, or Biggest, Most Number, or kung ang word problem ba ay hinahanap ay Split or Divide Equally, or Grouping, or share. Narito naman ang mga keywords para malaman kung ang isasolve mo ay least common multiple or LCM. Least or smallest. Kung ang word problem ay may kinalaman sa repetition or it happened at the same time or cycle. Step 3. Solve. How is the solution is done? Here, it involves the process that you were going to use. So, pwede mong gawin or gamitin ang listing method, prime factorization method, or ang continuous division. And step 4, final answer. It is written in sentence form. Dapat ang iyong final answer ay nakasulat sa sentence. Ngayon, alam na natin ang four-step plan para masolve natin ang word problem. Let's try to solve this one. Kathy baked 48 pieces of butter cookies and 60 chocolate cookies. If she will put them separately in boxes, what is the most number of cookies that boxes will contain if these are of the same number? So, in this problem, what could be the keyword? Correct. The keyword is most number. Let's answer the problem using the four-step plan. So, we have number one, understand. What is asked in the problem? The greatest number of cookies that a box will contain. B, what facts are given? We have 48 butter cookies and 60 chocolate cookies. Step 2. Plan. How will you solve the problem? 
So this time, iisip kayo kung ano nga ba ang isasolve nyo. Kung ang problem ba ay GCF or LCM ang hinahanap. So paano ka magde-decide? Gamit yung keyword. Sa problem, yung keyword natin ay most number. So, since ang keyword natin ay most number, we're going to solve the problem by finding the greatest common factor or GCF. Step 3 is solve. So, since alam na natin na we are going to look for the greatest common factor or GCF, this time, isip ka ng method na pwede mong gamitin para mahanap ang GC. So, gagamitin po natin ang prime factorization method. So, ano nga po ulit yung given facts? So, we have 48 butter cookies and 60 chocolate cookies. So, hahanapin natin ang prime factorization ng 48, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then, Ang prime factorization naman ng 60, which is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Then, kunin natin ang mga prime numbers na parehas na meron sa kanilang dalawa, which is 2, 2, and 3. Then, multiply natin 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. Therefore, ang ating GCF ay 12. And for step 4, we have the final answer. So, what is the answer to the problem? So, we have a box will contain 12 pieces of each cookies. Napakadalit, napakasimple lamang po, ba? Basta, susundin lamang po natin ang four-step plan. Here is another example word problem. Mangkanor is going to put eggs in trays of 6 eggs and 12 eggs. What is the smallest number of eggs that Mangkanor can put in the trays? What is the keyword in the problem? That's right. We have the smallest number. So, let's solve the problem using the four-step plan. And we have one, understand. So, what is asked in the problem? The smallest number of eggs that can put in a tray. B, what facts are given? We have six eggs and 12 eggs. 2. Plan. How will you solve the problem? So, katulad kanina sa problem number 1, gamit ang keyword, ma-identify mo kung ang isosolve mo ba ay GCF or LCM. Sa problem number 2, ang ating keyword ay smallest number. So, therefore, isosolve natin ang problem by Finding the least common multiple or LCM. And number three is solve. Since alam na natin na finding LCM tayo, decide ka whether listing method, prime factorization, or continuous division ang gagamitin mo. But since dito sa problem natin, ang gagamitin natin ay Prime factorization method. So, yung given facts natin ay merong 6 eggs and 12 eggs. So, isulat natin ang prime factorization ng 6 which is 2 times 3 at ng 12 which is 2 times 2 times 3. Then, kunin natin ang Prime numbers na parehas na meron sa 6 at 12, we have 2 and 3. 
Then, isulat natin sa iba ba ang prime factorization. Since or kahit walang kapartner ang 2, kunin pa rin natin siya. Isama pa natin sa prime factorization. So, therefore, ang prime factorization na natin is 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. Therefore, ang ating LCM or least common multiple ay 12. And last but not the least, step 4, the final answer. So, what is the answer to the problem? We have a tray will contain 12 eggs. Tapos na natin maisa-isa ang mga steps paano isolve ang real-life word problem. Kaya, remember, to solve real-life word problem, follow the four-step plan. Then, use keywords to identify whether you will solve for GCF or LCM. And, you can use listing method, prime factorization, and continuous division to find GCF or LCM. Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video ito. Thank you for watching guys! I'm Mamsi and please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!